Hi, my name is Andrew Zubakin, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make Passover rolls. These things are absolutely... Dude, dude, what are you doing? What do you, what do you mean, what am I doing? What are you doing? I'm teaching the people how to make Passover rolls. They're, it's a great recipe that I made. These aren't your rolls. They're not? Dude, I already told you yesterday, these are my grandmother's. <sighs> right. And you know, I could understand if it was, you know, just, just our cameraman right there and you, and you could take credit for yourself, but come on, I'm standing right here. Yeah, well, I forget things, I tell you that. Yeah, well, you're just lucky I don't like being in front of the camera, so you can make them, but they're not yours. They're my grandmother's. <sighs> Sorry, folks, I forgot. They're his grandmother's Passover rolls. I'm just making them. There we go. Have fun. Let's get started on these Passover rolls. So first, what you need to do is have a cup and a half of water. Um, you're going to set it to a boil in a bit, but first we got to dump the stuff into it to make it Passover rolls. So you got your cup and a half of water. You're going to take a half a cup of oil. Uh, this can be oil of your choosing. It doesn't matter what kind, vegetable, canola, canola, um, olive, doesn't matter. Just make sure it's a half a cup of that oil. And then we're going to take uh, a tablespoon of salt. Mm -mm, salt. Normally I don't put salt in my dishes, but this one demands salt, and trust me, it's great in the end. Um, and then we're going to put this on a boil, start this on a boil, and when this starts going, we're going to put in this, the sugar. Now that this pot is at a rolling, boiling point of water, um, I'm going to add the sugar in. And the sugar is uh, a third of a cup of sugar. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Love that sweetness. Tastes really great, even late. Um, I'm just going to have this dissolve for a little bit, then I'm going to take it off the heat and then put it in my matzo meal and then stir, in a whole, stir a whole lot because that's this dish. It's a lot of stirring. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're adding our matzo meal, which is two cups. Um, sounds like a lot, but this makes about 12 to 14 rolls. And so I forgot to turn my heat off. Huh? There we go. Pour that in there. And like I said, this is going to make about 12 to 14 rolls, so that's okay. Because these rolls are awesome. And the more you make, the better it is. So, mm -mm -mm. it's going to get really thick. Um, it's going to kind of be hard to... Um, you know, stir a little bit, not like like, like concrete, but it's going to be difficult because matzo meal um, is very, very dry. It's from matza, and matza is unleavened bread, and it likes to soak up a lot of moisture. So, all right, that looks pretty dang good, I tell you what. And we're going to take this over there, put some eggs in it, keep on stirring, and we'll put it into the oven and make some bread. Okay, so... Our matzo meal's off the oven, or stove. I'm going to put this in this nice glass bowl. And here we go. Oh, look at this stuff. It looks so tasty and delicious, but you can't eat it yet. kind of actually has the same consistency of like, um, well, what do you call that stuff? Cream of wheat, actually. I mean, this it's a little thicker than cream of wheat, but... Unless you put a lot of milk in it. Um, but nevertheless, I digress. All right, so here's our matzo meal. Mm -mm -mm, good. And now you're going to take six eggs, put them in here one at a time, and mix them in until it is ready to be put into that thing. Uh, I'm terrible with eggs, so this is probably going to go all over the place. But let's get cracking. Um, something to remember is you can actually do this with an electric mixer. Um, it's really up to your preference. If you're a lazy chef, which I actually am, I'm only doing this this way because I'm trying to buff out, you know. Um, but like I was saying, you can do this with a um, electric mixer and it'll work just fine. So no worries on that. 
just mixing just mixing so much fun I swear trust me all this mixing is well worth it okay so I've talked about I've taken all the eggs mixed it into this batter um, by now which I probably should have mentioned at the beginning you wanted to preheat your oven to 375 and you're now going to take these batter into this pan you're going to fill it about oh two-thirds full Let's see if I can do that all right time to do it like my mama says and get your fingers in there mama always says use your fingers the best tools ever actually she always says something about smell factor but whatever so filling this thing up about two-thirds way that's not two-thirds this is disgusting yes I'm actually I hate using my hands because I like my hands being clean but for you guys I'm gonna do this and it'll be great all right so I finally finished putting these guys in the tins um, they don't really look two-thirds away trust me they are um, so you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these guys put them into the oven at 375 degrees um, keep them in there for about an hour um, and you know uh, once they come out, they'll kind of rise a little bit. They'll kind of look like muffins, but not muffins because they're Passover rolls. And, you know, Bob's your uncle will be ready to eat them. All right, so here are the Passover rolls. They came out of the oven. Uh, they were in there for about 60 minutes. Again, that's a good time. Um, they look great. They smell great. Top spring a little bit. They, that's supposed to happen. That's okay. Um, here they are. How'd they come out, Andrew? I believe they came out pretty well. I gotta tell you what. Well, I'll be the one to determine that. You did good. These are just like how my grandmother made them. Great job. Thank you much. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>